Mr. Nativology, we are here tonight to declare a champion. The first champion of the RSC Season 6. Who's it going to be? We don't know. We do know it's the amateur division. We've got four teams, four of the top teams in amateur uh, in the semifinals um, going tonight. They will kick off at 940, so we've got two matchups. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at those. We've got the Zerlings taking on the Otters uh, in, in one side of the bracket. And then we've got the uh, Huns taking on the Norwals uh, in the other side. And tonight, that champion will be declared. All right, welcome everybody to the to the chat, to the stream. Uh, I know this is a different kickoff time for us, so we're probably going to have a little different crowd, uh, just for the fact that a lot of regular seas, uh, uh, regular season games are going on. Um, but I'd also like to welcome the Deep State, who's going to be running the play-by-play -play tonight. Deep State, are you out there? Hey, Native. Great to be with you. All right. Hopefully the audio is good. Everyone, give me a thumbs up in the chat if the audio is looking good. Uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly tonight. I think we've got game audio. Uh, we've got my audio. We've got uh, Deep State audio. I think we're going to be chilling tonight as we try to declare a champion. So, Deep State, when, was, when would you say was the last time you played for a championship in anything? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't yeah. think I've. Yeah. yeah gotta <laughs> I don't think, think it's, it's not very often that you get the opportunity to play for a championship. That's so you have to savor, right. savor this moment. Absolutely right. I don't care what it is that you compete in. When you get the, uh, to the to the top level of whatever competition is that it is that you're in, and you play for the championship, and it's actually competitive. Um, so there are a lot of teams here in this amateur division. When it's actually competitive. Uh, it's a thing you must savor, and that is correct. So when you get to those championship games, when you make it to the playoffs, it's something that you savor. I think it's something that every player tonight is going to um, be looking to win because it's like a little piece of history. Uh, RSC, we're in season six right now. We're about to move into season seven after this one wraps up. And once the season six champion is declared, it's permanent. You know, you get you get a, uh, a little feature in the intro video. Um, it goes down into the archives of history of RSC. I mean, if this league goes on to become the greatest league ever created, which it already is well on its way to being, uh, the reality is, is that playing for a championship in season six, you are going to become a legend. When they write the histories of the sport of rocket soccer, I mean, they may look back on this day and say, this was the day that it all started. Yeah, who knows? Somebody out of this amateur division may, you know, be in the next RLCS, uh, you know, three years from now. So um, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe maybe a couple of these guys will be competing in the Olympics when that goes live in uh, 2020 Tokyo or whatever that is. Um, so you never know where uh, you, you could end up. So and you never know when you get the opportunity to play for a championship. So you got to make certain to relish it, savor it like a, you know, a beautiful delicious piece of steak or a, a fine wine um, make certain that you enjoy that and uh, most most importantly you got to win it because if you lose you're just the first loser really you know out the playoffs and then if you lose in the final then you're just the second loser out the playoffs and there's there's really no history being written for you at that point so good luck with that um all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the divisions so this is amateur so this is the very bottom of rsc and that's not to uh, make light of it. Um, I will say going through the replays, I definitely saw a lot of uh, high level plays. So there's a, there's a couple ballers in this amateur division. They're obviously gonna move up, um, but th those players are gonna be featured tonight. So while this is the introductory uh, tier to RSC, understand that the players playing tonight are at the top of that they're certainly going to move on. Um, I could see a couple of them jumping a couple of divisions after this. Uh, 
my guess is came in, uh, you know, I don't know what the, what the amateur introductory level is, but uh, came in at one rank and they're, they're going to exit at another. And that's typically what happens in RIC. Um, you join, you play competitively, and you move up to the end of the line. Um, so tonight we're featuring the amateur playoffs. We've got uh, the semifinal matchups. They're both being played at the same time. So we're going to try to, we're going to feature the Huns and the Norwalks, but we're going to try to peek in on the other teams. That is one thing that we just see happen in uh, Rocket League. The level of play, the meta just gets uh, developed and uh, the ranking, they just push the envelope. Every season it's changed so much since we first uh, picked this game up. Uh, I would not expect anything but the highest level of play that these amateur players are going to deliver, especially for us tonight on such an auspicious night for the league. Most certainly. It's definitely a big night for the league. Thanks, Coach Cheesy, for the shout-out on the audio volume. I'm going to try to get my volume up. Um, so if we take a look at the standings, in our matchup, the future matchup, we've got the Huns and the Norwals. You've got one and two um, in their conference. Uh, and, you know, there's nothing else to be said about that, really. On the other side of the playoff bracket, you've got the Zerlings and the Otters. Again, one and two of the division. So these are the top four teams in this division, in this league. Um, and we're going to see who comes out on top. So we'll go take a look at the board again. This is how the bracket, bracket shapes up. Uh, the Zerlings are taking on the Otters. They both have 940 kickoffs. So they, they both have 940 kickoffs. And we're hopefully, um, like I said, we'll, we'll drop in on the Zerlings and the Otters when we get a chance. I'm trying to bring something new to the table um, for the RSC playoffs. I don't know if I got to do it uh, in Season 4 or not uh, the last time I was streaming. But we're going to try to feature uh, the Huns and the Norwals, and then we're going to try to drop in on the Zerlings and the Otters. And hopefully that looks a little something like this. So we'll, we'll hopefully have some split screen action going. Um, I'm getting ready to join the game. We've got two systems running, and uh, hopefully hopefully we get this all kicked in. So I, as you take a look over on the right, that is our Huns and Norwals uh, matchup. And we, we see we've already got the players joining up. I see we've got the four Cyclones. Um, G8 RNC, Rising Wolf, Untitled. Um, so we got some players jumping in. Another uh, aspect of tonight, so you got to make certain to stay tuned, is in between the semifinal games and the finals, not only we're going to get our finals matchup, but we're also going to announce the amateur all stars and MVP. So in between the games, we're going to have a, a nice little shout out to the all stars as voted by the participants in the league and uh you know we're gonna see who the best players are and i'm gonna tell you some of them are out here right now obviously this is the playoffs some of the all-stars are in the playoffs and your mvp is likely in the playoffs as well so you, you don't get mvp without being in the playoffs uh, at least i hope that's the case um, but we'll see what happens so uh we see the huns and the norwals they're, they're they're piling in we've got four minutes till that kickoff um I'm going to go ahead and try to join the other game and see if we can get in that one uh, now. Uh, well, it says we're unable to find the server. So hopefully that pops up soon. Um, would love to get into that game if possible. Coach Easy CG and build a bear thanks for hanging out in the chat with us this evening. A little bit of an earlier start time than most of the RSC community are used to, but we're going to be going... Late into the night with this playoff, it's going to be so much fun. Mudkip, I'm nervous too, man. Dude, I've, I've been nervous all day. I mean, it's amateur playoffs. Like, I, you know, what's funny is I was playing with uh, Mimlo and uh, who's the other guy I was playing with? Ah, 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 ah. I can't remember. We were we were threed up. Um, it was an early morning game, and we got queued with, uh, with, with Squishy Muffins and uh, J-Naps and, uh, and, and First Killer. And, you know, I was a little nervous, like, you know, playing with the real real deal. I and mean, obviously they just toyed with us and destroyed us out on the field. Um, but it was interesting to get queued up with them a couple times uh, and play. And, and the nerves that I'm feeling now surpass playing, you know, absolute legends uh, in the RSC or in, in the Rocket League world. And uh, it was it was just interesting. And, it, and it's interesting for these players tonight. I, I'll be curious how the nerves are for each of them on the field um, under the bright lights of Monday night. Uh, RSC and uh, obviously playing for a chip the championship it doesn't get much bigger than that so um, hopefully the other servers getting 
Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me uh, leave this match. <laughs> oh, my God. What did I do? All right. I'm running two controllers. I got too much going on right now. Already already creating problems. That's not yeah, good. no problems there. We got a little bit of time. Hopefully uh, getting balled on by Squishy, Jane ass first killer. You at least get uh, maybe a sign out of it or... Maybe if you get really bald on, you end up on YouTube, and that, that's its own reward, I suppose. What's a sign? I think your I, account sign that's on PCs only. That's not something that applies to... Yeah, so... so it's like getting an autograph, basically. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, one of the players asked for that, and um, I will say that Squishy did not respond with a sign. But he asked specifically for a sign, and I didn't quite understand what that meant. Um, so... You know, I thought that was interesting. But what, what, when you say a sign, what is that? They like shout your name out? That's like getting a uh, your profile signed by another player. It's like getting their autograph, essentially. On your profile, like on Steam? They just leave a comment, yeah, on the Steam profile. Ah, okay. Okay, so the, the, the game is back up. Um, I, I did not mean to take the field. All the guys left. Um, feel free to join back in. Uh, apologies for that. I am running two systems here, so I'm, but I did lose track there a little bit. It's, that's my bad. As we see, we've got we got. It looks like we're over on Manfield for the Zerlings and the Otters. Um, that's really cool. So they they can kick off whenever they'd like, uh, but we're we're hoping to feature the Norwals and the Huns here. Were you able to rejoin the match, uh, Deep State? No, right now. I just want to make certain that I'm up properly, not breaking everything. Woo. Just a lot going on, man. It's just it's just hype tonight. Okay, you were able to join, so hopefully everyone else can join. We're gonna try um, to get this kickoff going. I see the other matchup. Uh, I'm not certain if they're joining up over there. They are. They got four in there, so we're getting a little bit of a late start. That's okay. Uh, hopefully to draw some more eyeballs as we continue into the night, as we're declaring the first champion of RSC season six. been a historic season had a the first intra uh, confederation games if I'm not mistaken that is correct just at the uh, just before Halloween all right looks like we got Earth Arc, Monster Buck, and Nate Benson uh, have joined. I, know, I do know that's one of the teams. And uh, we'll just wait for the other team to join. So while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and kick off the Game 1 intro. Again, this is the playoffs. Amateur division. Semifinal. Huns. Norwal. Otters. Zerlings. Coming at you. Monday night, RSC. And there you have it. 
As we wait for the Huns and Norwals, I think we're still waiting for one of the teams to join. We've got the first matchup kicking off over on the left, which is our Zerlings Otters game. Bobzilla, Sergeant Boom. A lot of familiar faces playing in this one. Yeah, the Zerlings in blue, the Otters um, in orange. Kavobi, Krimgor, and Bernatra. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Build a bear, Mudkip, Prime now. Okay. Good to see you. If you does it. You've got one of those Twitch Prime subs. You uh, might as well drop it right on the upper right hand corner if you've, if you've got one to spare. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Ninja and Shroud leaving. There, you know, definitely a lot of subs out there. <laughs> That's just kind of funny. So we're a minute into the game on the left, which is Otter Zergs. No score. Oh, our matchup is now getting joined up. So we're gonna we're gonna drop into our game once that starts full screen. Uh, we're gonna keep the uh, the other game in the background, but we will pull that up for some picture in a picture action to try to keep tabs on what's going on uh, for each game. So Huns and Norwals, here we are. Uh, it's a series best of three or best of five in these. I, I think the semis is best of three, and then it goes to a best of five for the uh, final. I could be wrong, but someone in the chat, let me know. Give me a shout-out. League admin, one of the administrators, the commissioner, somebody. Give me a shout. Looks like we've got just about everybody in here. Just waiting for them to take the field. Lots of support for the Huns in the chat. Yeah, we've still got 0-0 over in the uh, Otters-Zerlings game. Um, it looks like the Huns, the Otters are just scoring there, putting them up 1-0, two minutes in. So it is best of five. We're going to have to correct that on the scoreboard once we get into the action. Uh, but right now, over on the left screen, you see that you've got the Otters taking a 1-0 lead over the Zerlings. So in our main match here, Huns, Norwals, uh, Teams can take the field at any time. Whenever they're ready. Until then, we'll keep an eye on the other semifinal matchup. 1980s baby game wrestler. There's some narwhal support. I'm a partial narwhals myself. Unicorns of the sea. Beautiful. Animal. Fascinating creatures. Beautiful. They have <laughs> yes, beautiful indeed. They'll have their hands. They'll have their work cut out for them. They yeah, don't I don't. I don't think Norwals don't have hands. They have their horn. Have but actually, horns. we shouldn't cut their horns either. So, but, uh, never mind. Either way, Huns. We're, we're still waiting here on this in this matchup. I'm not sure why. Still getting still getting messages in the Discord. Uh, people some confusion. People saying when they should join. I feel like everybody's in in here. There we go. Norwals taking the field. We're gonna jump into spectate mode. Let's get down to the field. Not an actual horn, it's a tooth. Thank you for that, Coach Easy. We're heading into kickoff. Huns, narwhals. Huns looking to expand their conquest. Narwhals looking to spear the Huns with their tooth. <laughs> Looking at four cyclones putting one into the corner, getting stuffed up by Nate. Monster Buck with a block there on four cyclones. He's going to recycle it through Nate again. Nate's shot is going to go just a little bit wide. He'll follow it up again with a light shot over the top, blocked off the line by, let's see, that was, I believe, G8 RNC. Two saves back to back for the Narwhals. We're standing a little bit of pressure here. Earthark, want to put that one in the front of the goal, but we've got two goalies just hanging out, making sure nothing is bothering them quite yet. 
pretty comfortable on defense. Monster Buck just chilling on the back wall, waiting for an opportunity. Now he's going to spring back and get back on defense as Earthark will miss that one. It's a breakout opportunity for G8. It's going to be intercepted by Nate, who's going to go off the side wall. Maybe thought about mid boost. He does get one with the juke, almost gets two with the juke, but four cycles is wise to it. He'll block that one. Only as far as Nate, who's going to whiff, get a bump, push Earthark into the corner. Double save by RNC. Another nice block from four Cyclones. A lot of pressure early on the Narwhals, but they seem to be handling it. Can Monster Buck get that corner boost and get up in time? And he can. He's going to pump that one. Just boom it into the corner. It's hard to handle. It'll drop across the middle, but Ryzen Wolf rose to the occasion and cleared that one out. RNC's clearing this one out. And Gator NC is what I'm calling you now. Four Cyclones past mid boost. Still has some juice to give. It's cut off and it's over. Gator NC. Rising Wolf has got to pick this one up, get it under control, but he doesn't. Needed four Cyclones. Tight angle shot is going to go over the top of the crossbar, and Ryzen will just watch that one. Monster Buck picked up the opponent's corner boost and then just cycles out. Earthark should get a chance to dribble here. A little bit of time and space. Might be able to get past everyone, but oh, Gator NC with the, with the very last second. Almost almost beat all three on the dribble. It's Ryzen will push it into the corner, and here comes Monster Buck. He wants to just toss this one up. He'll check out of it. Nate Sky, but couldn't really create much of a pass. Earth Arc came up here. Want to get the block, but there was no shot from Ryzen Wolf. And here comes a ball bouncing over the middle. Four seconds will pick it up and put it on target. Leared away by Monster. Yeah, impressively, we're almost three minutes in. We've got neither team on the scoreboard. And as you saw on the other semifinal, the Otters win game one with a goal with eight seconds remaining. Clutch goal there by the Otters to give themselves a 1-0 lead. We've got we got two minutes. Yeah, we got two minutes left on this one. Dangerous ball cleared away by Earth. Earth Arc needs to stay in the middle. Nate just trying to get in the way and does. He jams up. Wolf Champ. Ryzen couldn't get that shot across. A little bit of a back pass. Four Cyclones is just going to bully his way through. Maybe get a bump out. Open up some space for Gator to put that across, but nobody is following it. And Earth Arc tries to clear his way through Monster Buck. Monster Buck thought about mid boost. Wasn't sure what he wanted to do. Let that one go, and Ryzen's going to dribble in the other direction. Nate's there to pick it off. This one's going way off the top of the back wall, and it'll bounce into the middle. Cleared away by Gate. Gator NC. Rising Wolf Champ tries to create a cross. This one will bounce over the middle, but it's pushed just wide by four Cyclones. Demo from Earth Arc on Rising Wolf. Can they use the numerical advantage? Not this time. Four Cyclones cuts that one out. It's going to be Monster Buck trying to get on the dribble. He just flips that one up. Sets it back down, and it's a big 50-50. Still jammed in the corner. Needs to be cleared away. Gators watching this one, waiting for four cycles to come in a little bit too late. It's bounced into the corner again. Can it be recycled? Here comes Ryzen. That shot is going to go wide. Nate's going to clear it away as Monster Buck steals mid boost. It's Nate and Earth trying to get a 1-2 pass going. They'll flick it back and forth, back and forth into the corner. Nobody else is following it. Gator NC will leave that one to be a shot. Ryzen... No problem. Saw that one coming the whole way. Lots of defensive positioning. Lots of defensive posturing. But nobody's been able to find a goal in five minutes of regulation. Will we need overtime? Looks like we're heading for it. Monster Buck just wants to let that one bounce. And Earth Arc jamming that one in the corner. Keeping it alive. There we go. Two OT in game one. Yeah, I think both teams here feeling each other out. Playing a little conservative. It is the playoffs. It is the semifinals. And... Uh, you know, teams here not wanting to make a mistake. Um, who is going to break out and give us that goal, uh, particularly their game winner at this point? Both Earth Arc and Four Cyclones working off of the wall, trying to get a little bit of a different look on offense. Ryzen goes way over the top of that ball, blocked by Four Cyclones. Into the corner. Nate bounces it forward for Monster Buck. 46, Monster Buck on the dribble. He's going to get that one. That one will get away from him. And it's Ryzen instead. Who kind of watches. 
just touches it forward and there's two different Huns who had to fight over that pass. Ryzen's gonna knock it down for a monster. No, it's Nate who comes through and he bounces that one into the corner. Ryzen needs to pick this one up and he does not quite handle it. It's a jump ball and boom, there's your goal for Earth Arc. 2157. One minute nearly into overtime. It's just that one bit of defensive clearance issue that opens up the opportunity for Earth Arc to seal it for the Huns in game one. Yeah, finally. Earth Arc finds the breakthrough for the Huns, gives them the game one win, uh, important win to lead off with a victory, and uh, they start off with a 1-0 win over the Norwals. Um, Earth Arc carrying them with the MVP, uh, 279 points a goal off of three shots, and uh, you know the teams are kind of filling each other out here for game one. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the adjustments that get made here in game two. Uh, I'd like to see the teams open up the offense a little bit and just get a little more of a flow going as, you know, they seemed a little nervous early on. Well, game one is the time to get those nerves out. And to give a quick update over on the uh zerlings otters games um the otters and the zerlings are tied at one uh the otters won game one so they're up one in the best of five series um and it looks like the otters have just scored so they they may be up there i can't quite see the score um, on my screen but hopefully you're getting an update there on your screen it is two to one in our other game we're heading into the face off it was gator and uh, I believe four Cyclones. No, who was that? Might have been Nate. Either way, we've got a clearance from Earth Arc. Sort of pass back to Monster Buck, who's trying to just protect the dribble with a, with a bit of a shavo, shadow defense there. Ryzen challenging. The shot coming in from Earth Arc. Lots of early pressure here from the Huns. You see the Narwhals are having a little bit of a tough time getting out of goal. That one will hover over mid boost. Bit of a double commit from Ryzen and Gator NC. Ball's over open in the middle for Gator, but he can't connect that one quite square enough on the frame. Narwhals are putting a little bit of pressure of their own on now, and that one needed to be saved. This one will bounce right across the middle. Can it be recycled? Gate just tries to keep it alive. But Gate ends up giving it to Nate. It's Ryzen who's got to get out there. Just banks that one off the corner, trying to open up some space for his team. Earthar can only just pass that one up to Monster Buck, who's having a little bit of trouble getting it out. Ryzen just chips it. Gets demoed by Nate. Followed by four Cyclones. Who wants to get on the dribble? Flick. Ooh, beautiful shot. Four Cyclones. Four Cyclones explodes with the goal from midfield on the call on the pickup. The pickup and Flick gives the Norwals a 1-0 lead, man. Beautiful shot. Beautiful play. Step over maneuver to unseat the defender. That's a scorcher. <laughs> what a boom. It's over Nate. He's not too concerned about it. There was no not much of a follow. He does get the block on four cyclones who just came in. Look at that. Double save from Earth Arc. Who was not able to follow it up. And now it's a bit of a back pass for Nate. He's going to send it up to the back wall from Monster Buck. Monster Buck's trying to go through his teammate. Horizon was there. That shot from Nate beat both Gator and Ryzen to level the scoring back up. Nicely worked from the Hunts to get back in this thing nice and quickly after giving up that first goal. Back into the faceoff, it's Nate and four Cyclones. Nate might've gotten the better of it, but it's a pass for Ryzen whose shot goes wide as he gets demoed by Monster Buck. Earth arcs pass up into the ceiling. It's a chance to put that one on frame, but Nate is there to clear it away. Look at this flick over the top from Nate. 
both ends of the field getting it done. Flower Crown feeling himself right now. Nate gets bumped out a little bit by Monster Buck, I believe, but that flick, that second touch is just sublime. 2 1 for the Huns over the Narwhals. Yeah, Huns, the winners of game one. Thank you for the correction in the chat. Uh, take a 2 1 lead here with uh, 234 remaining in the game. Um, and just a quick update on the other game between the Zerlings and the Otters. They're in overtime right now in game two. They're both tied at three. The uh, Otters putting on a scoring display in the final minute to get back, uh, being down 3 0 early. Uh, well played from the Otters. Wouldn't expect anything less. We're in playoff time. You got to leave it all on the field. Yeah, we'll try to give you a glimpse of that overtime as it's being played. Challenge from Gator. Assumed that shot was going to come through and uh, just barely gets a touch of it. This one will be bounced off the back from Nate to Monster. Monster shotgun have been raining in and drops 3 1 to the Huns. That monster buck sky from the upper deck drops this one like it's hot on two of the narwhals players giving the huns a 3-1 lead here in game two at 45 left as we head into our fourth face off this pass block there's really pinched from gator and Mon Earthar tries to scrape that one off the ceiling, and he does. It manufactures a pass. It's going to go right onto the corner. But its follow-up is there for Monster Buck, and he will extend the lead to three points. Yeah, he pours in his second goal. Makes it look easy coming in from the opposite side. Drops that one in. Huns looking to take away game four here with ease. Or I'm sorry, game two with ease up 4-1. Meanwhile, you've got the Otters and... And the Zerlings, 90 seconds in on overtime, tied to three. Otters the winner of game one. Otters fought their way back into this game. Now a chance to steal one. Here comes Nate, challenged well by Ryzen Wolf. The follows there from Earth. Earth might sneak one in. Bam, there's another one. Wow, Earth the, arc. The, the Huns are running away with this one. Um, the Narwhals are definitely going to have to make adjustments. Uh, they're going to go down into a 2-0 hole here um, in a best of five series. Uh, best of five series, which is not insurmountable, but it, you know it is Rocket League. But you definitely got some work cut out for you coming out of a 2-0 hole. Nate with a nice chip to avoid the challenge from Ryzen. Nate again trying to get that pass across. This one will be an option for Monster Buck. He'll flash this across the middle. Gator. Clears it out, just booms it into the corner. Yeah, we've got 45 seconds left in this matchup with the Huns and the Norwals. Um, and just now, Obi Wan Kev Obi scores the game winner in overtime for the Otters. They take a 2 0 lead in the other semifinal matchup. Um, great stuff over there. A little over two and a half minutes of overtime. Uh, that wow, feels like an reverse. eternity. Yeah, it feels like eternity. Um, but that can happen as you start to understand the tempo. Wow, look at that nice cooks or pinch from Earth Arc. That one's going to bounce right in the path of Monster Buck, who just needs to put that one in the middle. But it'll be cleared out by Gator. And there you have it, Hunt. Get into those rhythms. Win game two. Behind Nate's 520 points, two goals, two assists, and a save off of two shots. But truly, everybody showed up for the Huns in that game. Uh, everyone got on the board. Nate, Earth, and Monster Buck all scoring, all getting over 300 points, all producing shots. The Narwhals got to make some changes. They, if they're going to find a way to defensively withstand the pressure from the Huns. The Huns are just in conquest mode. Yeah, I don't know what you do here. If you got a sub, maybe you bring a sub in. Um, I'm just really not certain what, what the move is for the Norwals at this point. Down 2-0. Uh, really hoping to to avoid getting swept. Um, the Huns are just just offensively just putting too much pressure um, on the Norwals. Well, 2-0 is one of the most dangerous leads in 
in sports, you really have to be careful if you're the Huns to not switch off mentally. You also have to be mindful of the Narwhals coming back with uh, maybe a nothing to lose mentality. They may start throwing a lot more offense at you. Ryan Foster is offered to sub if the Narwhals win. That's uh, that's very kind of you. We'll take any subs. Definitely make sure you smash that follow button. So here we go. We're in the game three. The Huns lead this best of five series for the amateur semifinal. 2-0. Um, and a win here will move them forward into the final. Uh, right now, that's looking like the Otters. They're also in game two. Um, the Otters are up 2-0 over the Zerlings. Looks like we lost a Norwal. Are we getting a sub? I'm not certain what's going on here. There we go. We got joined up. Just we in time. We have a sub from the Narwhals at the very last second. It's Untitled coming off the bench. Replacing uh, Wolf. And immediately making an impact. Getting a challenge in there. At the midfield, which is critically missing from the first two games. Midfield pressure will be something we'll look to see if the Narwhals can sustain. Gator might get a chance to get on the dribble here. Might get a chance to steal corner boost. Might get a chance to flick this one over the top of the four Cyclones, but the shot is there for Unt. Oh, and it comes just off the side of the crossbar. Unlucky for Untitled. Would have been really nice to come in and have that be the introduction to this playoff game. Monster Buck skying. Gonna drop this one down, trying to make it awkward for four Cyclones. And it is, he's having a little bit of a tough time controlling it. He wants to steal corner boost, he doesn't. He's gonna shoot that one out of the channel up to the mid boost. It's Gator on the challenge. Monster Buck has to backflip it. He's gonna go up, he's gonna try and block four Cyclones. That shot from four Cyclones is just wide. Here goes Nate, he's trying to get out. Four Cyclones just wants to take that away from his own teammate, just take it up to the back wall. No time to panic, Untitled Demos Earth Arc. Give his teammate a chance to dribble. Doesn't get over Monster Buck, though. Monster Buck playing monster defense, opening up an opportunity for Earth Arc to splash a shot in. That one missed wide, I believe. A little bit of better defensive break from the Narwhals, opening up a shot opportunity. Still alive. Yeah, the third committed there, just a little slow on the commitment with the rotation. Unfortunately, not able to get that shot off. It did look like a good opportunity for the Norwals. Um, they were Cyclones un might have a chance to dribble some here, but he's the to just boom it up. And Monster Buck will return the favor. He says, chase that one, Gate. Gator. Demo from Untitled and four Cyclones opening up a 1v3 for a moment. But the ball spent the whole time hanging up in the air. Can the Huns regain their shape? Another demo from four Cyclones. We are seeing a little bit of a change of strategy, perhaps. The aggression is coming out. Four Cyclones, two demos in about as many seconds. Monster Buck says that's not a problem at all. Gator with the uh, back pass to four Cyclones. Going to let him dribble it up into the corner. He'll flick it up, and Monster is unable to chase it. He'll follow it. It's Earth Arc is going to put the pass into the corner. Untitled will boom it away. He says, let's just get this one out of dodge for right now. Nate drops it down on mid boost. It's intercepted by Untitled. Who's going to be there first? It looks like it's Monster Buck. Monster will just lob one up. That one's dangerous. Bounced through two players, but was ultimately no threat. Four Cyclones getting challenged well by Nate, but Nate's shot is going to go wide. Chance for a recycle from Earth Arc. Not going to get past Untitled, though. Untitled playing solid defense. And has two shots to his name. Yeah, the Norwals here trying to stave off elimination down two in the best of five series. Meanwhile, the Otters have a 3-1 lead with under two minutes to go in their game three. They're looking to sweep and get out of the series and into the final. Which team will post their spot in the final first to be determined. Hello, Exile, Eclair, Tower, Sparky. 
Ryzen says he's trying to give some coaching from the sidelines. Looks like it's been going pretty well so far. Narwhals have not given up any goals quite yet. 50 All seconds three, left. I'm out of pocket. Full length play by Earth. He's unable to convert it in the transition. Neither Shot is from Nate. Me. Four cycles just to make sure that one's going wide. Monster Buck lobbing that one up. Just perfectly weighted pass, but neither Nate nor Earthart could produce the final product. Untitled is going to jump over four cycles, see if that pass can get through, and it's stuffed against the wall. LeBron James style by Monster Buck. Monster Buck is going to follow this one. Locked away by four cycles, who was up early to meet it. Checking down in the final 10 seconds. Can Nate tee this one up? This one's going to bounce oh, dangerously over the middle. Still dangerous from Untitled. He wants to put this one on the back wall. It's cleared off by Monster, and that is how we end up in OT in game three. Here we are, Norwals, hoping to fight off elimination. They get a clean shot. shot. And Untitled blocked well by Nate. Looked like Earth Arc was also there, but that is the most threatening we've seen from the Narwhals in this game. Meanwhile, in the other semifinal matchup, the Zerlings have cut the deficit to one. There's 25 seconds left. We're going to see if they can tie things up or if the Otters are moving into the finals to face the winner of our future matchup here. It's 15 seconds left. That ball trickles around the goal. My goodness, eight seconds left. The Zerlings doing everything they can. Godzilla scores one, ties the game with four seconds left. No way, Godzilla. That's your second semifinal matchup. There, the Zerlings are trying to save off elimination. Big outlet. Looks like it might have a chance. That's going in for Untitled. Keeping um, the Narwhals in it. There you have it. The Narwhals get on the board in overtime. Takes a minute and extra time for the Norwals to pull this one out. They keep prevent. it tuned right here. Pickler, we've got both of the games. We're keeping an eye on them. We're keeping you updated. Both of these amateur playoffs. And then be sure to stick around because we are also going to have the announcements for the amateur star and MVP results on the stream. That is correct. TWA Draconium says that he did that in the scrims tonight. I believe it. Nice addition. A nice substitute. Bringing Untitled in. Getting the help from Wolf. Yeah, he picks up four shots. A goal. The game winner. And the MVP. Sub by fortuitous circumstance. I believe the other player dropped out due to lag or something like that. Meanwhile, the Otters win in overtime. Wow, Otters. They defeat, done. they defeat the Zerlings. They're, they've penciled their spot into the finals. We will see them with the next matchup after this with the winner of the Huns, Norballs. Otters did take that one, TWA. It looks like uh, the server has to restart. No big deal. We rejoin. Producers are telling us that uh, typical maintenance. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to water the fields in between games. Um, you know, keep the keep the turf nice and moist. Moist. And, uh, you know. So we're going to reset this matchup, get these players back in here. Um, we've got the Huns up 2-1 over the Norwals in this best of five series. The Huns could uh, etch their spot into the finals against the Otters if they're able to pull this one out. All right, looks like everyone's getting back. Thank you, Jackson King. Glad to have everybody in the chat. Marcus as well. Yeah, good to see you guys in the chat. 
Welcome to RSC Playoff Edition. We're declaring a champion tonight, the amateur champion. Someone will be crowned king of the division. It's going to happen. Otters are already there waiting to battle. Who is going to meet them? Will it be the Norwals? Will it be the Huns? The finals are next. We're not messing around. <laughs> Otters await the winner of this playoff, and we go right into the finals. Looks like everybody might be everybody back in. Oh, I say we're not messing around, but we're going to mess around a little bit before that matchup. We're going to announce the All-Stars and the MVP. Looks like we've got everybody in the arena, and uh, we'll just wait for the teams to... to to sync up. Looks like Rising Wolf's taking the field first. The Huns on the field. Norwals on the field. And here we go. Game four. Untitled. Put Untitled and Rising in with four Cyclones. Into the face-off. Earthark and Monster Buck both chasing after that one. Untitled ended up getting a nice pass back for Rising Wolf. He's going to follow it. This one will roll over the top. Needs to be Shepherded away by Monster Buck. It likes to go for a boost instead and then get in the way of the dribble. Untitled, flipping his way out. Watching Ryzen do his thing, watching four cycles go in. Put this pass up, can Untitled put a shot together and he does, it's dangerous. Nate is there to block it away, but not out of danger yet. Needs to be cleared off the line, and I'm not sure it will be in time for the shot to come in. Still tucked away by four cyclones, and there's your opening goal for the Narwhals. The Narwhals making a statement here, scoring in the first minute to take the lead, saying they're not going anywhere. They're fighting for their opportunity for the championship. They were able to get it to done. Puts a nice pass across for Nate. Nate can't get on the end of it. It's a little bit too far for him to extend. Rising dribbles that one off the side wall. It's bounced back to Untitled. Untitled might have a chance to chase this one because it's going to get past Monster Buck, but not getting past Nate. Nate booms it up, and Four Cyclones tries to drop it back down, but it's going to stay up as Earth Arc puts a pass in. A little bit of danger here. Earth Arc keeping it alive. Rising wants to clear it out. Monster Buck is playing good midfield defense. Four Cyclones a chance to get on the dribble here and does. Soft touch picks up corner boost, but does not pick up the ball. It's Ryzen who needs to do the work now. Not quite. Got to play some defense here. Earth Arc is a little bit fortunate to help the Narwhals break the press. Earth Arc gets demoed by Ryzen. Opening up all sorts of space behind him. And look at this. Bam. Uh, equalizing goal from Monster Buck, who just dribbles the length of the field on a defensive clearance. Yeah, Monster Buck's playing it smart there. Carrying it out of the corner. Keeping possession. Able to give it a little extra boost at the midfield spot. Just enough to beat the defense and give the Huns the tying goal. Rising on this face-off and does do a nice job getting that out. But it will be Monster Buck dribbling. Flicked it up to Earth Arc who couldn't quite connect. Four Cyclones came flying in. <laughs> Wanted to get another touch backwards. Untitled is there to bail him out. Nate will drop this down. It's difficult for Rising to handle it. Earth Arc. Wants to dribble it, tries to go slow, tries to go one, two, and oh, four Cyclones is picking that pass apart and getting in the way to prevent all oh, a big defensive laps and a chance for Ryzen to go over. Instead, it's going to flash across the face of goal, Earth Arc, trying to do a little bit of boost management, steal the opponent boost and get out. Nate with a chance to watch this one bounce, maybe get on the dribble if he has time, but Ryzen's going to get there first. Earth Arc very casually booming that one out. Chasing it again. Might be able to get it past the Untitled and does. Here comes Nate trying to manufacture a shot. It's a trickler for Monster who goes for the chip. Very cheeky. Untitled bounces it off the top of the crossbar. Follow-up is going to go over the top. Nate on the dribble. Nate brings it down. Almost gets past four Cyclones, but four Cyclones needs Monster Buck to help get that one out of his, out of his grill. Monster Buck. Boosting, picking up a little bit more, trying to beat Untitled on the dribble, just leaves it for Nate. Good challenge from Horizon. 
Chance for Untitled. Over the top. It gets a chip off of Monster, I believe, and that one is a goal to put the Narwhals ahead. Four Cyclones. Beating Earth Arc, but Untitled is there quicker to follow it up. Nate, very critical intervention. Untitled, the super sub, according to Panther. I couldn't agree more. Follow up shot from Untitled. Untitled again. Untitled gets another goal for the Narwhals. Untitled absolutely putting the team on his back in the last minute. Sorry, it looks like we're running into some technical difficulties here with losing frames. I'm not certain what's going on. Hopefully the PCs will catch up. Here. The Untitled only needs a couple frames. <laughs> the Norwals are up 3-1 right now with a minute and 20 to go. A little bit of packet loss, perhaps motivating Untitled to prevent the loss. Comes Ryzen with his dragon wings. Just dropping it backwards for the shot. Blocked off the line. Cyclones, but it's still sitting wide open for the follow-up and Monster Block bringing them back within a point. Under a minute to... Yeah, the Norwals are going to want to hang on here. 50 seconds to go. The Huns cut the lead to one. The Norwals can hang on here. We can get to that decisive game five. Pure playoff drama. Cyclones. Bumps rising. Shot comes in. Equalizer from Monster Buck. Just defensive woes for the Narwhals. As Ryzen was trying to get back to the back post. Cleared out his teammate. Opened up the opportunity for Monster Buck to even the score. Untitled for four Cyclones. Not going to get past Nate. Nate trying to create some opportunity on offense. That one's going to dribble right. Untitled again trying to get out through Ryzen. Needs four Cyclones as help. Yeah, I'm going to call Final. it here. If the Norwalk Look at that. Nate. Nate, oh my goodness, scores for the Huns, takes the lead with five seconds to go. I apologize that the stream is lagging, but my God, the goals are amazing. We can barely keep up with the amount of goals that have just happened in the past minute. Yeah, I'm working here behind the scenes trying to get this stream uh, a little tighter. I'm not sure what's going on. I think I just had two. Just, we just reached the technical limitations of... OBS, unfortunately, but the Huns walk off the winners. That'll give us time to reset everything in the in the memory uh, within OBS, and uh, hopefully we'll get the stream back online. But the Huns walk off the winners of Game Three, taking the series three one to the Norwals. They will meet the Otters in the finals next. So Stick on that around, note, guys. yeah, I'm gonna restart the stream. So I'm gonna stop it. I'll be back. We'll see what's going on with this.